Google Maps is an international product, and it's meant to be used by people all over the world to see all over the world. Um, and you can actually tailor it to see how it's meant to be seen in certain localities. So for example, here's a view of New York City as seen from the default United States version, which is google.com slash maps. But if you change the domain to say something like google.ru Russia, give it a second to re-render, the language suddenly is in all Russian. Um, see Central Park is written such as such. Uh, if you wanted to see it as Italy, in Italian, IT. Give it a second to. Uh, sometimes things will change and sometimes they will not. Um, just give it a second. It's a little stuck, I apologize. There it goes. And then you see the language is written in Italian uh, over here, if not necessarily around here. So, um,. If we went to change it to, let's say, Hungarian, or let's say Japanese, it'll be just more apparent that way. So change that to JP, and then give it a second to reset itself and everything is in Japanese. Uh, so basically the moral is that if you're traveling abroad and you wanna, and you will get the default of your location, and it'll be in a different language, you can just change the domain back to google.com slash maps, and then you'll be able to see everything in a language that's more familiar if English is your first language. So have some fun playing with that, and you can kind of see how uh, different parts of the world um, tailor their own Google Maps to, to be just a bit different and see how they refer to different things. So enjoy.